I've placed four bolts on the ground to raise the motherboard. This will help prevent the motherboard from heating up and warping. You need to apply a thick alloy around the GPU chip, protecting the motherboard. There's different type of materials that you, you can use. Coke cans, cut them up. Don't use something thin like foil. I'm just using this as an extra precaution. I'm using a very thick baking tray. Use objects to hold down the alloy, making a tight seal between the GPU chip and the motherboard so no hot air goes through. Use a heat gauge to work out what temperature you're heating your GPU chip up to. Best to use something a little bit more sophisticated than a barbecue heat gauge like I am. Heat your GPU up to 210 Celsius for two minutes, then a further two minutes at 280 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. You can use an electric heat gun like I am or a blowtorch. I find that the heat gun uses a much wider heat dispersion, meaning you don't need to twirl the gun around in circles to heat up all the GPU evenly. Try not to go more than the 280 degrees Celsius or the four minutes because you could bubble your GPU chip. If it bubbles, still try it out to see if it works. There's a strong chance it will. Let the board cool down naturally over a 15 or 20 minute period. Clean all the chips and the cooling system with alcohol, also the copper shims you're about to install. Using something cleaned by alcohol or a syringe, apply the thermal paste. It's best to use 1.2 millimeter copper shims, closest to 100% copper as you can possibly get. There's only one other thing using 1.2 millimeter copper shims. When you're putting the cooling system back on, you might need to bend the little metal brackets down a bit. Don't tighten the screws all the way in. You could snap the motherboard. Inserting the DVD-ROM drive later on might be a little bit of a problem with this setup as well. Make sure you hand tighten these screws as well. Insert the RAM back in.
and clean up any dust that's left behind. Now you're good to reassemble your laptop. Click on the video link to see part 3 and how to assemble your laptop.